In this clip, we're going to be learning about the copy node. Okay, so in our last clip, we learned about the shuffle node and how to read it backwards. And in this clip, the copy node. So the copy node is great for grabbing one bit of channel data from one place and putting it in a new place. Now, a lot of times you're going to get renders from somebody if you're, you know, somebody else is rendering for you. And then maybe instead of getting a multi-channel EXR, maybe you get a lot of individual passes. So you may have a sequence for your diffuse. You may have another sequence for your alpha or for your indirect specular. All these types of things might not all be in one file the way that our multi-channel EXR has been so far. So let's jump into Nuke and I will show you how you can kind of combine those things using the copy node. Okay, so let's go ahead and we'll be bringing in a couple of files for this. So again, just hover over this area here, hit the R key, and we're going to be bringing in our robot no alpha and I'm gonna shift click so I can select two things and have robot alpha only. Bring those both in. Okay, so let's go ahead and take a look at these guys. So I'll hook my viewer up to the alpha only and as you can imagine, we don't see anything because we're viewing our normal way that we view things, which is the RGBA. Now if I hover over this area here and hit the A key, I'll see my alpha channel and you can see that that changed. If I hit A again, RGB it is what it'll go back to. Now if I come over here and I look at the RGB, I see my robot, but if I hit A, I don't see anything because there's no alpha channel. This is also evidenced by zooming in down here and seeing we've got RGB channels here and just the A channel over here. So what do I do with this? What if I need to, you know, merge this with my background the way I did over here. In fact, I'll take this little pipe away and let's view what happens with our merge. So we're getting this weird kind of ghostly robot because B doesn't have an alpha channel. So I need to get it in there using a copy node. So what I do is hit tab and this time we'll type in copy. And the copy works um, where the input on A is where it's copying from and the input on B is where it's copying to. So you can see copy channel, it would be here on A, this is the one we wanna copy and the one we want to copy to goes over, he over here. Now by default, they're both set to alpha. So that isn't, um, that actually is what we want to do for this because we want our alpha channel from this read node to go into our alpha channel over here. So I will, because there is no alpha, so I'll plug in the A right there. And then our B will be plugging in right here. So to recap, our alpha is coming from this read node and it's going into this copy node where it's added to the information from this node here. Now, when I take this away, we now have the copy node as the new kind of result that we wanna be working with. So if I kind of move this over here like this, my new A pipe or the one, my foreground would be this copy. And you can see that now instead of that ghostly image, we have a, um, robot that's been cut away because he has an alpha channel now. Perfect. So now that you understand a little bit more about how the copy node can take information from one area, add it to information from another area, and it just kind of brings everything together. Now we're going to learn about the shuffle copy node, and that will be in our next clip.